Hey sis, it's me again. So uh, in this episode, we're gonna look at iPhoto's adjust uh, editing section, where we can adjust various uh, levels um, in the on a picture, so we can get different looks out of it if we want. So um, hope you enjoy this one. So here in iPhoto, we're in the edit menu again, and we're in the adjust section of the edit menu. Um, and and I hate to beat a dead horse, but um, you know, the really, I just don't see how we can really edit this picture to make it look better because it just looks pretty amazing on its own. Um, but anyway, we'll, I'll show you how the different levels tools work. So um, in this first piece, what's called levels, it's the black point and white point and mid tones of a photo. So if I come over here to the black point, you'll see here this little slider has got a little black icon. I can drag that you'll see it's making the picture blacker and darker. Now I can do the same over here with the white. And right now you see it's really whitening out the picture quite a little bit. And then the mid-tones, I can just drag that, kind of move it over more to the white or more to the black. And then you can see my graph too as it's adjusting as I'm making adjustments to those levels. And then I'm gonna hit revert to original so we're back to the original image. And then we'll move on to exposure. So right now there's no adjustments to exposure, it's set at zero, but I can underexpose it or I can overexpose it. So this kind of helps, especially if you're using a camera that with, uh, you know, with a raw image, um, you can really do make some major adjustments to the picture itself. Um, and then contrast, again, set at zero, so I can under contrast or over contrast. And then saturation. So currently it's set at 50. I can change my color intensity and make it less or more. And then there's an option here to avoid saturating skin tone. So if you want to keep that, but well, if we uncheck it, then you can kind of see what it does there. It goes to completely black and really kind of bright colors. And then we've got the definition. So it, we can clarify details. So we can move that up. Kind of makes the details stand out. Revert that back. And then highlights. So for highlights, we can uh, increase detail by darkening the highlights. So boom. Move that around. See what it does. And then shadows. Um, if we lighten the shadows, whoo, we can increase some detail. Sharpness. We can make the focus sharper. So you can see it kind of stands that out. And then denoise. So we can smooth out the grainy quality of a photo. We can just move that around and see it gets kind of kind of fuzzy there. And then down here we got the temperature again. You know, moving to the right will make it warmer. And then moving it left will make it cooler. And then tint. We can make adjustments to the tint, which is really great if you have a an old picture. That's what I've done with some of the old ones that I've been scanning of the family and stuff where the color really got off, especially with the negatives and stuff, and I can mess with it around with the tint and actually get it looking pretty nice. And that is the adjustment tool. And um, so I thought maybe I'd just show you one more th quick thing. So let's say you've done, you've, you've finished uh, editing your picture and you want to get the picture out of iPhoto. That's where the share button comes in, to, it comes in handy. Um, you can actually send it to iCloud. You can send it via message. Uh, you can send it via email, Facebook, Flitter, uh, Flickr, or Twitter. Um, you can also, under File, you can say Export. And then you can export the picture. And you can just export it to your hard drive, your computer, if you want to uh, send it someplace uh, else. Um, you can export it as a web page or do a slideshow if you have multiple pictures selected. And you can choose the kind of picture, all that fun stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to show you how you can actually get the picture out um, of iPhoto once you've, once you've done some editing to it. So this is going to kind of wrap up all the iPhoto tutorials. Because uh, like I said before, Apple is actually coming out with a new tool called Pictures. And I'll maybe make some videos for that as well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed these iPhoto ones. And I'll talk to you later.